Good afternoon. It is Thursday, March 4th. My name is Adam, and today I have ordered a Nintendo Switch, which I'm sure means that we're only like a week away from the uh, Super Nintendo Switch with all the upgrades to be announced. But in all seriousness, I've been thinking I should just do it for a while. In fact, like a year ago, I decided I was going to. And then we went into the months of Switches not being available. And by the time they were, I wasn't sure, okay, that's not really what I'm getting into right now. So I, I passed on it for a while. Then we had the announcement of Skyward Sword. I was like, okay, I would like to play that. And I'd like to try and have some sort of content beforehand. Again, I've been trying to push through Skyrim lately. At this point, I think I'm not going to get through. I think what I'm going to end up having to do is I have ordered Mario Maker 2. I think the plan will be to play through just like this, like the in built-in games on there um so like the idea being uh make some content with that so once this arrives and i set the time time aside set aside the time for that i will play through that and that'll push forward content several a couple months and then i'll get back to skyrim and hopefully at least finish skyrim before zelda comes out but who knows anyways so i decided kind of what i wanted to do and um, probably what last weekend I was like ah, I should probably do it. Uh, I don't need it right now. I can wait a week or so. And so that's what I decided to do was wait a week or so. But I kind of kept my eye on the page. And a couple days ago, it was not in stock. Although it was strange because it said in stock. Unsure if or when it will be available again. I was like, clearly it means not in stock, but the word not was not there. It didn't say out of stock, it just said in stock, or not available. It's like, that doesn't make any sense. But it was weird, and that's what Amazon said. And there were other options to buy it through Amazon. Of course, there are plenty of them. Uh, and the scalper prices aren't terrible right now, because it's more in stock. Um, and so it was only going to be an extra, like, $30. Which at that point, I might as well go buy it somewhere else. Because that defeats the savings that I get from Amazon. Because the savings from Amazon are, I have an Amazon credit card and I get like 5% back. So I'd rather do that, because that's basically like, what, $15 off. <laughs> okay, so I waited. And then it became, uh, at some point there was one, it was like in stock, in like, will be available in like the middle of March, whatever that was. I was like, no. No, I didn't want to like buy it that far ahead. And so I passed. And then that went away and it was like, we'll be available April 1st. And I'm like, it's going further away. That's the wrong direction. And I refreshed the page during one of my breaks at work today. And it says, we'll be available March 6th. And I ordered it. That's like, what, two days? So I'll get it next week, but... It's coming. I don't have to worry about it. I'm getting a Nintendo Switch. Probably should have done it like a year ago. Or more. <laughs> but, whatever. I'll have it now. <laughs> or in like a week. Otherwise, today, uh, I'm going to do food at some point, and I, late last night, remembered to make some rice. So I got chilled rice, I have jalapeno, I got some onion, I'm going to make uh, fried rice. Now, I don't have like, I usually put like, um, I usually instead of onion use, uh, scallions 
and I uh, typically would also add celery. And that makes for a distinct flavor of fried rice, and it's fine, but I was like, I just want something a little different. So I didn't do that. I'm going to do onions. I'm probably going to chop up a whole onion for that, and it's going to be very oniony. But I like onion. So, that'll be, that'll be lunch or dinner or whatever. And beyond that, I do have a project that I need to start working on. You see, I've been looking at possibly getting a storage unit, and that's not ideal. But I mentioned it, and Mom was like, well, how much space do you need? And I'm like, okay. So, the space that I need, I want to be able to... There's a few primary things I definitely want to do. I want to get all of the canvases that are up there gone as well as the canvases that are behind this desk those are things that I look around and they make me feel like my home is untidy and they're where they belong I don't have a spot where they belong that I don't feel is untidy and so those will all be going over there at some point I also have a um, box for a TV, which after helping my grandmother move like a month ago, whatever, and her not having any box for it, I definitely am like, I want to save this for my nice TV. And I have an old TV under here. I'd like those to go. Those may go over there. They may not. They may find a different place here once other things have moved. I'm not sure which yet. And, I mean, there's some other things that are untidy, obviously, in the kitchen there, but most of those are temporary storage spot, something there. And while that temporary storage is now coming on a year, it still is something I'm like, okay, I have plans for this. I'm just not getting to it. <laughs> but I will. I would kind of like a lot of the boxes that I'm not ready to get rid of from older computer stuff to not have to be around here. That would be a little nice to clear up. And if I do clear that up, that would allow a few things like this art portfolio bag to go up there. That'd be nice. And another thing that I would like is at the very least, two of these bins, if not all four, I have four bins over here to go over there. Because that would clear up space here for more Dwarven Forge and d and mini storage. And I more and more am wanting in placing a value in more storage for that as I desire to continue to grow that collection. So, I think and if I, and so basically I talked to mom about what I'm going to store and she has just like a normal closet like um, with rolling doors in what used to be a uh, extra room in the basement. Now that room has been cut apart and it's kind of a workout room. It's kind of just built into other hallway area. Like they've knocked out part of the wall <laughs> to open the area up, but the closet is still there. Because the other side of it is like the, um, like all the tools and the workbench storage is on the back side of that closet. So it's still there. And she didn't have a huge amount of stuff in. She's like, I can clear that out. And at least you'll have like a closet worth of space. She, she'd she first offered under the stairs. And I'm like, I want something with doors. I want to be able to close it off and be like, my stuff is in there. And as long as it's fitting in there, I know I'm not spilling out into your area. So the closet with the doors, I was like, that'll work. <laughs> that'll solve my needs and I don't got to worry about it. So I'm going to start preparing stuff. Because over the weekend or next week or something, I'm going to start moving some stuff over. Um, and that'll be cool. That'll help me clear out some of the, the stuff that it's like I want to keep. I don't want to get rid of. But I don't really need to access. <laughs> and I have a smaller place right now. So I was like... 
And I think I still have some stuff that's also stored, like, at random spots in her house. And I will try to all move that over to that one area as well. So that... <laughs> like, let's put all of my... All the stuff that I'm storing here can be stored in one spot. And I have one bin ready to go. I documented to a stupid level to some extent where I'm like maybe this will help me with choosing a little down the line to get rid of stuff when I pull it out and I'm like do I need to keep the Beanie Baby sleeping bags that I had from elementary school those were like the hand sewn sleeping bags to which you put in the Beanie Babies not the Beanie Babies just the sleeping bags for the Beanie Babies to which I, of course, had a large collection of because I had a large collection of Beanie Babies and, of course, they had to have sleeping bags. But that's there in this bin. Why? Oh. Etc. So it's like, alright, so one bin ready to leave. Work in the clear up space. And while I was packing it, I got a few of the things from like the old computer parts boxes. Now, there was a little extra space, so I stuffed them in there. Added them to the registry. And I chose just to tape it on with little blue tape. So if when I get there, if the front is gonna be facing out, then I can take it off and move it. Just move it where I can see, open it, and look at what is in what. At a stupid level of detail, what do I have in there? One old Ethernet cable. <laughs> and the second of these bins is largely paper. Which means, one, it's heavier. Definitely more densely packed than the first, which wasn't so bad. Also means it's probably going to be a little more challenging to catalog exactly what's in there, but almost feels like more important to do a good job because it'll it'll end up, it'll be a bottom. It's it's going to be the bottom bin, hardest to get to because it's so heavy. You can't stack it on top of anything else. But if I get it done, and I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight. I'm obviously starting it tonight, but it might take a couple days. I don't know. Um, but it, once it's done and I can get it out of the house and therefore consider the space that it occupied cleared up, then that'll be one, uh, really basically two, room for two more of these Dwarven Forge storing bins. Which is good. I want more Dwarven Forge storing bins. All of this is being done for more Space to put Dwarven Forge storing bins. <laughs> and out here is going to be stuff just to make the place look nicer. I really look forward to this. This one right here. This being gone. Because this sticks out from the wall. And it's just... And it can't go any further that way because of where other furniture has to be. Hmm. To being gone. Want it gone. And other stuff that just doesn't look nice. I like to try to improve how the place looks. I do care about it. I know when my kitchen looks like that for a year, uh, it doesn't seem like it. I guess not really. That bag's only been there since Christmas. And I'm thinking in the next week or two, uh, the plan is to do something about that bag. That is also on the, the, the to-do list that's coming up. I want to get to that sooner rather than later. Um, otherwise, I'm going to work on cataloging this bin. I've got myself a couple pieces of paper and a clipboard. I'm going to start making my list of what's in it. And it's done. That wasn't too bad. But yeah, so I got I got it all sorted and organized. I have two bins, it's probably enough until I start actually getting them over to mom's because now they're going to sit out here in the living room. Hopefully I'll get them there this weekend. But, uh, but yeah, so I got things and I got labels so it's more organized, which I've been needing to do 
I've thought about for ages just wanting to do that for all the all the bins and storage in the that I have in the closet there but I guess as I'm moving things over I'm at least gonna do it for those things I'm tired now thank you for joining me join me as my journey continues bye